Mr. Trump, your heart is full of holes. Your hair is a weird contraption full of gray and orange streaks, Mr. Trump. You're one of the wealthiest people on the planet, and your hair looks like Stevie Wonder is your barber. If Stevie Wonder were an alcoholic with arthritis and Parkinson's disease, you're a racist, Mr. Trump. You're the king of bigotry. And the folks who think you're classy use their sleeves to blow their nose, Mr. Trump. Don't you dare mess with the Latinos. Cause when you mess with the Latinos, when you mess with the Latinos, you're messing with my asshole, motherfucker. You're Donald Trump, I think I speak on behalf of every American with a brain when I say, this is a campaign to leave the United States of America. You're not fit to be president of the hair club for men, of which you're also a member. And if our news media hadn't turned into TMZ, obsessed with covering every one of your tweets, they could focus on more crucial issues like our dying economy, climate change, and Kim Kardashian's latest post-birth selfie and Star Wars box office receipts. And to everyone who thinks that a successful entrepreneur like Trump is going to run the country like a business, he inherited his money and went bankrupt four times. Our biggest problems stem from billionaires bribing our government. We certainly don't need one in the top position. So this time, you're fired. Now go play in traffic outside a mosque in Syria. You concern me, Mr. Trump. Like, I really am concerned for the country. Your brain's so full of garbage, you make Ben Carson look sane, Mr. Trump. I remember that time when you said you'd have sex with your own daughter. Seriously, Google it. He said he'd bang his own daughter. And every time you come out with another example of your sickening misogyny, all you're doing is what no Republican wants, electing Hillary. I never said I endorsed. <laughs>